All right, guys, welcome back to Spudcats. I just had a recent idea to start uh, this finance type type of guide because I don't know. There's this one card that I saw, and I'm like, you know what? We can we can do this on the channel like, since we haven't done anything magic related in how long? A mm -hmm. uh, good while. Anyways, but uh, yeah. So pretty much, I'll be going over what spiked and why it spiked and what if you should purchase if anything just just to make some quick money or anything like that because i i'm somewhat getting into the, the speculation community <laughs> of sorts of the magic more than just playing it yeah, so yeah i'll be covering all that stuff so sit tight so one card that spikes the one that i was talking about where it spiked completely is this dude right here steam flogger boss and he hasn't spiked until who knows when since he came out in future sight which is weird but the reason for his spike is this m Monday, no, the Monday that has passed recently this week, <laughs> which is, I don't know what the date is, Omar can put up the date, uh, Wizards released six new sets that are, are not set, but new products that are coming out, and uh, one of those is Kaladesh, which is a set where, if you're in Magic already, Chandra is from, and everybody there is known to be artificers, and this guy was a lot of people are speculating that he's gonna be huge because of that set because they make riggers apparently or contraptions but with this I'm not really following it I don't see why they make that a, a thing in Kaladesh but you know if you're speculating you could buy them on the cheap I recommend buying them on the cheap but if you can't find them for cheap at all just don't even bother with them they'll drop down so back so even lower what they are right now so yeah, with that card, there's that, and really, I don't see why you should borrow it, but if you're interested in speculating in that, go for it. Uh, yeah, pretty much, uh, I don't think I'll be going over standard, because standard is not my thing. It rotates way too quickly for anything to stay in, but one card that is interesting to be keep an eye on is Nahiri. She's saw some play in some modern decks in a recent opening, and she did pretty well. And she's just shooting up crazy. Uh, yeah, just keep an eye on her too. She's being used in modern. You can use her in EDH too, which is pretty good because most red white builds use equipment based Voltron type of decks, which is again pretty good in the red white, especially since you can't with all those tutors you have. So, yeah, pretty much eternal formats is what we'll cover a basis on on this. So, anything modern, legacy, really heavy in legacy and commander builds is what we'll be diving into pretty bad right so uh pretty much if you want to get yourself into speculation you can go to an easiest one is uh, mtg stocks it's a really good setup it's pretty much like actual stocks watching prices go up and down yeah and it has interests which are cards you can keep an eye on and uh just keep yeah just keep an eye on if you have favorites personal favorites you can just keep an eye on those and see if you should be speculating on those tell your friends about them or anything like that I personally have a couple of speculations that are pretty good in eternal formats and I think honestly they'll probably rise up in price later on in one of them definitely you should be speculating on and I think everybody has honestly is uh, Tastry of the Golden Fang he's seeing some play in modern uh, he's pretty heavy in legacy as a, like a one of but he's still pretty good and <laughs> a resilient force in the meta especially in Grixis builds which right now are doing pretty good in Legacy or always have been pretty good in Legacy and he's helped the deck out so you should be checking out Tassiger uh, another card that you should be checking out too that is pretty interesting even if just have a play set up and your binder just sitting there for when time passes on is Dark Deal it is a fun casual card a fun commander card and it might see some play in Legacy I'm currently brewing, brewing with uh, well, one of in one of my legacy decks, uh, Grixis. It runs a lot of one ofs, but uh, it runs an Ocean Thief, and Ocean Thief happens to be a pretty amazing card. With and especially in legacy where brainstorms and ponders are relevant, or at least brainstorm because I don't think with ponder you draw at all. But it is a pretty helpful card once you get it out, and it has flash, which is an added bonus. So there's yeah, Ocean Thief, just a uh, three one, not that interesting. But his ability is where he outshines in Legacy especially, which are pretty good. If an opponent will draw a card except for the first one he or she draws, 
in each of his or her draw step. So everything minus the draw step, you draw instead. So let's say they brainstorm, you flash them in, you basically get an ancestral recall, which is an astounding amount of card draw. And this is why you should at least pick up a couple, couple copies because they'll go up in price. Not that much, but they'll shoot up a little bit. Another card, the other card I was talking about, Dark Deal, the Brewing with. And uh, since we're barely starting this up, it's if you're watching this, thanks for watching it. Uh, I know I'm kind of new to the speculation type of deal. We'll hopefully get better at it. But uh, if you want to see some actually pretty good like speculation guides and all that, like finance and all that, check out a uh, Mythic MTG check. He does them every month, I believe. But he's pretty good with those, like solid with those. Actually, people want him to do more of them, but you should check him out. He's a great dude. All right, so here we are at uh, uh, Dark Deal. Uh, it's a 3 drop, it has an insane ability for black, which is pretty good, it almost looks like a Wheel of Fortune, and, and it's modern legal, it's legacy, everything, you should be, it's, it seems like a pretty good card, here we got normal ones, 29 cents, 30 around there, you should be picking up a playset if you can, and at least sit on those if you want, you can pick up more just in case if you think they'll actually shoot up in price. And especially if you can pick up foils, you should just pick up foils because they're a dollar right now, which is pretty insane because they're insanely good. It's a fun casual card. I just played one today and it completely destroyed my opponent. And it's I can't say anything else about it. It's just a blast. So yeah, pick up some of those too. <laughs> Bringing up Eternal Formats. Eternal Masters is going to about to be spoiled next week. Check out for that too. I do not recommend buying a box. Maybe going to drafts should be fine, but at 30 bucks a draft, you better hope you pick some good stuff up because it is pricey. And boxes, I can tell you, will shoot up to probably 300 bucks a box. So if you if you can get your hands on one on the cheap or something like that, you should definitely pick one up because it seems like it's gonna be a good set, but I think it's too much of a price for what might or will be in it especially since force of will is a mythic so, yeah pretty much everything spiking up that's on the reserve list is uh, just going up pretty crazy it's just because of eternal masters which is like not a very good reason but I mean you know this card spikes <laughs> shoot up just because they're on a reserve list and eternal masters a lot of cards that you should be picking up are cards that are good in commander because recently they're mostly on the reserve list which is a good reason to pick them up because they'll definitely shoot up in high uh, price like like Veldegrift he is oh they're commander decks Veldegrift but they're really weird but he shot up in price recently which is weird and it's only because he's on the reserve list but I mean this is why you should be speculating on cards that are on the reserve list because people will want them but only for commander but that's why you should only have like a playset at least speculating on those and some of the cards that are on the reserve list or used in eternal formats like commander are good to pick up because they eventually see play in legacy which is pretty good because once it shoots up in legacy you're pretty much sitting on a pile of gold and you know what i think that's all i'll talk about this one see you guys in the next speculation video <laughs> Ten minutes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.